Hey y'all, um, we're going to be working on a 1999 uh, Cadillac, I think this is the STS, I'm not too sure, I don't remember, I can go in the back and check, but anyways, um, it's a North Star 32 valve V8, um, this is my wife's grandparents, so my in-laws, grandparents, whatever you want to call them, but um, they're having a problem with the uh, radiator fluid um, they have to fill it up every now and then so there's no visible signs of leaks anywhere uh, so what we're going to do is a uh, engine block uh, test I'll give a shout out to 65 Ford um, I just saw this week he did the same thing on, on one of his vehicles so um, fortunately for him he did not have a leak and hopefully for us we won't have a leak either but uh, I'm not too too sure but um, yeah basically they're losing they're losing antifreeze but there's no visible sign of of it dripping out um, no leaking around the hoses or anything like that so um, we think that it might be burning through the head gaskets and leaking into the cylinder and and burning it that way so um, what we're gonna do is a block test and show you what that looks like okay so to do the block test you have to have pretty much two things you need to have the leak fluid uh, leak indicating fluid and basically what that does is that it will react with any kind of exhaust gases um, obviously there shouldn't be any exhaust gases in your coolant if there is you have a head gasket leak so that's what this fluid does it reacts um, it starts off blue and it turns yellow if it detects any kind of um, exhaust gases in your in your system so and then here's the actual kind of tool that you'll need and again it's just or it's just this little block tester deal you'll fill the fluid up to that line and you'll use this little bowl thing and it sucks it up in there so all right let's go ahead and come over here so to do this it's pretty simple um, one you need to drain this down um, three inches two three inches something like that because whenever you put this in in there you don't want whenever you start sucking the Whenever you start sucking the, or using the little bowl, the little bulb, uh, you don't want it to suck up antifreeze in there. So um, yeah, you need to drain it down just a little bit. Um, and obviously this one is down a bit. And we'll push that down in there real good. And the thing is you wanna do this on a cold engine. Um, you don't want it warm, you don't you know, you want everything cold as can be. This top piece comes off. And then you're gonna fill it up to this line here. Place this back on here. Hopefully without spilling anything. Uh, real quick um, this does come with instructions if you've never done this before um, and, and this is a super easy test to do I rented this one from AutoZone you can see here it was 25 bucks 213 for tax 2713 whenever I'm done with it I clean it up real good I send it back to them and I get my money back so pretty cool little program that they got okay so now that we have this topped off where it needs to be we're gonna run the engine for oh, about 10 minutes 15 minutes something like that but basically we, we want to get it we want to get this warm all right so battery's low I need to uh, turn this off and We'll charge the battery up and jump start it real quick. Fill 
let it run like it, like it says. Yep, guess not. But yeah, the alternator's dead on this. I guess it sucked all the juice out of this because it's it's dead. How do you charge it? Uh, you just, there's a little plug-in deal. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's... It's it ran long enough to, to do the test. So it's a head gasket. Yes, yeah, it appears to be definitely a head gasket. Definitely a yellowish color. Guess that was blue to start with, right? Yeah, I'll show you the, the color blue it was. And it, whenever it's cold and you just start it up, if you're seeing bubbles that's coming up through, and it's not hot enough to, to create any bubbles yet, so what it's doing is that there's exhaust gases in between those cylinders it's leaking out through and going into your uh to your uh, coolant and then it's running back through your coolant and finding the only open air that it can to escape so. mm. if you say so let's do that <laughs> but yeah um yeah alternator and then a head gasket so well thanks ryan yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. I wish I had better news for you. That's <laughs> no way on. Especially on a car with fifty thousand miles on it, you know. It's a damn shame, isn't it? It absolutely is. So as you can see, this is kind of the color that it turned. It didn't run anywhere near as long as it needed to, but um, I don't know how well that's picking up. It looks more green than than blue, which blue and yellow was it, mate? There you go, green. All right, yeah, you can definitely tell that color. I want you to rinse this off and I'll put some new in there so you can see. Compared to that, I mean, you can, that's a huge difference. So, yeah, it's confirmed blown head gasket. So, I'm just going to show you some of the other things that he's kind of talking to me about. Here's that bell. I made them, they hadn't had a chance to hang it up yet. Got some cool old old tools. This came out of an old uh, uh, post office box. Obviously, it needs head gasket. And one way that you can tell uh, maybe which head it is, which if you're doing head gasket, you you really need to do both of them. But um, you run the test. You take out these two spark plugs. Run the test see if there's a, a change if there's not you take out um, you can do these two and after that you can do these two and then all the way back and eventually you do the ones right next to each other because uh, they're it's most likely the ones that's going to be blown and that can tell you which head it is uh, and maybe how bad it is but yeah this one's off, off obviously really bad whenever whenever the car is cold and you start it up and immediately you start seeing bubbles coming up or pressure building it's the gases inside exploding having nowhere to go except through the blown head gasket which goes into your water jackets then your water jackets basically go into your uh, your coolant and since there's nowhere for the bubbles to go it works its way through the system and then comes out your radiator. So I knew as soon as I put the put the deal on there and started it up and I saw bubbles, I knew that that was going to be an issue. And the alternator's dead because 
it drained all the juice out of that jump pack and it only ran for I don't know I'll check the check the time but it, it didn't run long at all but you're supposed to let it run for 10 minutes use your little bubbly thing your little uh, puffer deal and then use it for two minutes straight while it's running and if it uh, if it changes colors then unfortunately you got a blown head gasket so I think I'll run this same test on the Corvette just to just to check I'm not having any issues but I'll show you what a good head gasket should look like so hopefully it'll turn out good on my Corvette and if it doesn't then I'll cry <laughs> and do it on the new car or my wife's car or the truck or something like that so okay so here's the deal we were going to do this on my car but um if you can see how that radiator sits sits kind of sideways and i know this one is full to the top so we'll just use it on my truck the uh, engine's dead cold Go ahead and start it. Okay, so as you can immediately see, No bubbles going in there. Yeah, that's what we'll do once uh, once it heats up and the radiator and the fluid has time to go past the, the thermostat and all that stuff. So I'll get back with you. Okay, so good news is it's still all perfectly blue. doing this for a while just to make sure that it stays blue As you can see, it's it's staying blue. I'm not having any symptoms with this car, so should be good to go. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Comment, rate, see ya.